After World War II, a new kind of conflict emerged, the Cold War. It was an arms race, and the new battleground was the sky. Both the United States and the Soviet Union needed to build faster, higher flying, and more durable aircraft. The aluminum alloys used at the time were good, but they couldn't handle the extreme heat generated by flying at supersonic speeds for extended periods. This is where the history of titanium takes a dramatic turn. The Kroll process, refined and commercialized by the U.S. government, finally made titanium production viable on an industrial scale. The raw output of this process wasn't a sleek ingot, but a bizarre porous mass that looked like a sponge. And that's exactly what it was called, titanium sponge. The U.S. government subsidized its production heavily, and the metal became a top-secret strategic material.